please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi. Mr. President, my respected colleagues, the militarization of the Nigerian electoral process and the inconsistent application of electoral laws by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Mr. President, this motion is sponsored by myself and co-sponsored by Senator Maho Ohabuna, Ohabua, sorry, Samuel Ayahun, Ahmed Ogende, Obina Oba, Matthew Rogede, Clifford Odia, and the leader, the minority leader of the Senate, Senator Biodun Olujimi. Mr. President, my colleagues, the Senate, conscious of the need to grow our nascent democracy through the institutionalization of procedures, applications of civil laws, and restriction of excessive use of military force in civil affairs of the state. Mr. President, the Senate is aware of the growing militarization of our nation's electoral process and the inconsistent application of electoral laws by the institution umpire, the INEC. Especially as witnessed in the recent national elections 2019, where the presence of the use of extreme military force akin to a war campaign was applied in electoral polling stations and the declaration of inconclusive elections as a term. My respected colleagues, being used inconsistently and partially at the whims and caprices of electoral officers in occasions that appear solidly as similar cases. My respected colleagues, the Senate is concerned that the extreme militarization of democratic electoral process and the inconsistent application of electoral laws by INEC in matters of national elections pose serious threat to our democracy and has security implications that must be nipped in the board. Mr. President, the Senate is persuaded that the nation is on the edge of, of a precipice and our democracy can be saved for, the future, for future posterity if only we can build strong institutions that can operate within established laws and with our military forces restricted to the traditional role of defending the nation. The Senate accordingly resolved to, one, condemn the massive use of military forces in national electoral process of the nation. Two, urge the INEC to ensure the unrestricted and consistent application of all electoral laws without bias to a candidate or party in all elections. Three, direct the Senate Committee on INEC to investigate all perceived inconsistent application of electoral laws by INEC in the 2019 elections. And four, urge the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to give assent to the recent amendment to the Electoral Act to ensure a level playing field and adoption of equal standards in all our national elections for a strong and peaceful democracy in Nigeria. Mr. President, we are all Nigerians. We live in Nigeria. What I saw happened in my own state, Kogi, Mr. President calls for amelioration. Mr. President, the ADC to my governor, the night before the elections of the 9th of March, barricaded the entrance into Lokoja. And personally, Mr. President, personally led 
over 200 armed men, some of whom are not authentic army and policemen, and stop many politicians from getting access to the state. And every VIP that had a policeman with him was disarmed and the policeman arrested by the ADC to the governor of Kogi State. And as a result of this, the former governor of the state, his policemen were withdrawn and arrested and Alad Ibrahim Idris had to turn back to Abuja. The same thing happened to Senator Ogembe. The same thing happened to a lot, a member of the House of Reps, Honorable Kabiru. When I saw this happening to them, Mr. President, I had to consult the Celestial and got to my village through Celestial means. Mr. President, as we can also see that on the 23rd, when we were having the House of uh, Assembly and Governorship elections, this same ADC carried a rifle and led men pulling boot by pulling boot, snatching ballot boxes and shooting sporadically. Mr. President, this is not the democracy that Chief Obafemi Awolo was dreamt of. This is not the type of elections that Dr. Onambi Azikiwe proposed to us when they started the journey of Nigeria. This is not the kind of Nigeria that Saldona Amadu Bello I'm sure he's turning in his grave in anger that this is not the Nigeria of his dream. Mr. President, when I saw in rivers military men and armies barricading and blocking the entrance of the INEC headquarters in Port Harcourt, stopping INEC officials who have finished collation in their local government from entering the premises of INEF for final collection. Then I begin to wonder what kind of democracy we practice. It is more worrisome, Mr. President, that the number of lives lost in the 2019 elections is unprecedented in the history of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Even when the famous June 12 election was annulled, we did not lose lives in this magnitude. Will the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria keep quiet? How long, Mr. President, shall we continue in sin and ask grace to Abam? I call on my colleagues this morning. It is not about PDP. It is not about APC. It is about Nigeria. Where is NPN today? Where is UPN? Where is NRC? Parties will come and go, Mr. President, but Nigeria will continue to remain an entity by the grace of the Almighty God. I want to call on us this morning to debate this issue dispassionately. Our brothers and sisters were killed by armed men. The bullets used in killing these people, including a lecturer, who allowed himself to be used for national service in the conduct of this election was killed in River State. Youth call members who swore allegiance to defend their country were killed during these elections. Mr. President, we cannot keep quiet in the face of obvious obscurity. In the midst of all this, Mr. President, it is pathetic that there is no presidential broadcast or statement from the leader of this country who is also the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. This is a national calamity. We must, as a Senate, devise means to make sure that never in our history again will we conduct this type of militarized elections. 
the role of the Nigerian army is very, very clear. If a policeman by the pulling unit cannot carry a gun, what will a military man armed to the teeth, both original and fake military people, what will they be doing in INEC office? The home of one of the commissioners in River State. We saw the video taken over by the military. They even entered his kitchen and arrested people indiscriminately. Nigeria is not a banana republic. If we're out of fear, or some of us here, out of our election being declared as inconclusive, refuse to speak, a day we come, our children will ask us, Daddy, you were a senator. Mommy, you were a senator. When Nigerian elections was getting bad, what did you say? What did you do? A word is enough for the wise. I so move. Let me say that the essence of having the Senate is to ensure that we provide legislative intervention whenever and wherever. Let me second it, but before I second, let me. Mr. President, Mr. President, the essence of having a legislature is to be able to provide legislative intervention to smoothen governance process, to ensure fairness and inequity, I mean, and equity in all affairs of governance. Mr. President, the challenges of elections in Nigeria have been here for a long time with us. It behoves us to look at those issues that we think and are convinced that truly require intervention by the legislature. When and if we are able to do that, we would have provided solution to the issues that Senator Dino Melai uh, has raised. I believe that our process remains a journey. The electoral process in Nigeria still requires a lot of refining, a lot of fine-tuning so that gradually we reach the El Dorado. Mr. President, let me say that the executive is equally concerned. So here we have, here we have an opportunity to discuss with the INEC what the challenges have been in this current uh, dispensation particularly the 2019 uh, general elections, to have a panoramic view and evaluation of the total situation and see what we really need to address. But for me, and I believe for all of us here, the ball is squarely in our court. That is to say that we should review what happened and see where legislative interventions are required and where we believe is supposed to be administrative intervention. We put it forward before the executive for the amelioration of the program or the pro problems. I believe that INEC would have a lot to say. I recall that when INEC postponed the elections in the first instance, we were all sad. We felt we should find out what happened because it has become a trend that every general election in four years would be postponed and that would cause a lot of trauma and massive losses of resources, including INEC itself suffering. 
So I believe that what we need to do is to look at those issues raised, which ones can we provide legislative intervention. But I believe that it requires INEC, it requires the executive, just like the legislature is very concerned. Thank you very much, Mr. President. You, you did not very brief intervention. Let, 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 let me say that it doesn't require secondment because it's a straightforward motion. My name is Biodo Olujini. I represent Ikiti South. What happened on the 23rd at the general elections has been properly captured by Senator Dino Melai. Whatever we're going to say will just be simple additions to this. But Mr. President, we're Nigerians. We're in Nigeria. And for this Nigeria to be a place for all of us, we must be able to speak truth to power. What is wrong is wrong. What went wrong during the elections are fundamentals which must be properly addressed. Whoever is siding what went wrong at the general elections for partisanship is unfair to Nigeria and Nigerians and is unfair to the future of democracy in Nigeria. And because of this, Mr. President, we must be able, as elected members and representatives of the people, be able to tell the truth where it should be. That election was a sham. There was no way that election could have been an advancement on the 2015 elections. Because in 2015, everything was done according to the will of the people. Mr. President, everything was inconsistent. INEC was inconsistent. The parameters they used were different in various states and in very many units. That is wrong. Mr. President, can I finish, sir? There was massive deployment of military. In fact, it was inelegant to use the EFCC to rout people. They used the civil defense. All of them carried arms. Mr. President, there is no wrong that can validate another. We must be able, as a legislature, and this might even be what the Ninth Assembly will start with. We need to look at the processes of our elections. From now on, somebody somewhere has refused assent to the electoral amendment. That amendment must be brought out and, and signed by Mr. President so that we can at least know that we are going part of the way. Two, Mr. President, rigging was legalized. Vote buying was the order of the day. We need to look into it. And the only arm of government that can do that is the legislature. The time has come for the legislature to rise to this occasion. And, and we need to, we are regulating INEC. Excuse me, sir. The, this, this distinguished, well, let me, let me, distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues, let me, uh, distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues, let me come in here, please. We have an opportunity to take this motion in a very statemently and get some results. If, 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 if those contributing must restrict clearly to the issue, because otherwise, 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 it will degen otherwise it will degenerate and will not make any progress. The Senator Dino has raised most of the issues, so any contribution. Now, I would like to say is, let us, let me, let, let me just finish. Uh, should be strictly on us going at the prayers that has become, if there are contributions or suggestions, and we move forward. Because if we carry on, at the end of the day, we will not achieve the purpose of the motion. So if anybody is going along those lines, I will interject and we'll go straight to the prayers. The prayers have been said, the lead debate, the lead motion, uh, was the main sponsor has said, if there's any contribution, to suggestions, then we'll make pro otherwise we'll not make any progress. So let me restrict that clearly so that we can, we can yeah. Mm. Just wait, just. 
think that's why I said. That, that was why that was why I intervened. President, Mr. President, Nigeria belongs to all of us. Being a member of a political party does not preclude them from what is happening in Nigeria. And the APC is once always to want to equate their party with Nigeria. That cannot be. And until we ensure that even elections are not conducted because it is a partisan election, we will not be moving forward. Nigeria has to move forward. The APC must be able to surrender itself to the processes and do well with Nigeria. Thank you very much, Mr. President. The, the, distinguished colleagues. Distinguished colleagues, I want to suggest we move to the prayers. Uh, uh, let's go to the prayers. Let us move to the prayers, leader. Okay. Point of order. Point of order, point of order, Mr. President. Point of order. Point of order. Point of order. Mr. President, the President, permit me, Mr. President, Mr. President, permit me to raise, to raise this point of order. Order, order 53-4. Order 53-4. Order 23-4, Mr. President, with your permission, I read. And it says, a senator must confine his observations to the subjects under discussion and may not introduce matter irrelevant thereto. Mr. President, even the mover of the motion, even the mover of the motion, even the mover of the motion. Which point of order is that? Never, ever question the elections that took place. No I feel that because there is an established <coughs> process, there is an established mechanism through which anybody who feels dissatisfied of the elections, either process or outcomes, can go and follow the process. The election should have no business here. Right. The best should not be on the elections. Right. If there are issues, right. we can discuss those issues. Right. So I shall submit. Oh, that is sustained. Distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues, please. This motion, this motion is very specific. This, this, this motion is very specific, and I think that we have had two or three people that have contributed. If anybody, the only person I would like one more person to send to because I know that you also raised this motion. You must restrict yourself strictly to the motion itself, and after that, we'll go into prayers. Send to Mao. Mr. President, I want to come from the point. I want to come from the point made by the leader. I want to come from the point. Wait now, Please, I want to come from the point made by the Senate leader. Mr. President, I want to say that if we took the pattern he has set after the main motion, we'll be speaking as elder statesmen. We'll be speaking as senators. Like he said, we are legislators. We want to look at from the legislative perspective. Like, even before, I second this motion wholeheartedly, especially the prayers. But I want to stand here to commend two people. One, I want to commend the House of Reps, who took the bull by the horn. They had discussed this issue as legislators. Excuse me, I don't want assistance. And they came up with resolution. <laughs> Excuse me. Number two, number two, sir, as I commend the House, I also want to commend the Chief of Army Staff who for the benefit, for the image of Nigeria and the military, knew that any allusion, any allegation 
must be looked into. And he took the bull also by the horn by setting up a committee to look into the involvement of the military. We all know that legally, constitutionally, be it electoral act, the military, what please now? The military, the military has no responsibility in election because their function is protection of our te territorial boundaries. And I think that if we have observed things after this election, as senators, it's our responsibility to come back here, discuss it. Some we may have not had direct, um, um, direct um, influence, but, but, but maybe from what we read or from what we saw. I give an example. Like he said, what we are building is a way also to look at the, the, the electoral bill or electoral act, which we should begin to work now, because from the experience of what happened here, will guide us to mitigate anything that will restrict or stop um, free and fair, credible uh, elections. Let's not please look at it from partisan point of view, whether you are in party A or in party B. If you look at these prayers, Mr. President, he has asked that we should ensure that the committee on INEC should fight INEC and look at what are the ways forward. What do we do? Mr. President, like I said, it will be unheard of if you look at some of the pictures we are seeing. People will be laughing at us. Some of us belong to IPU, ECOWAS, and other international parliamentary union. When you go, the elections are discussed. What will you say? I told somebody. I didn't have any personal contact with the army. But what I'm saying is that when we saw what happened in Portacot, or I went to Portacot, I returned the other day with Andrew Chendo. I was telling her, I said, listen now, I was telling Andrew Chendo, I said on the road, I said on the road, I'm not saying the road was blocked. And I asked that they should, it's not right for the army to block a major road. That's all I'm saying. So on that note, Mr. President, I want to urge my colleagues that these uh, um, prayers are quite statemently. I don't see anything vexatious in this prayer. We should go to these prayers and adopt them and make amendments where necessary because this will help to, to improve and add value into the electoral act because we are legislators. The executive will come in, the legislature will come in, the INEC will come in, together we will build a better electoral act for future of Nigeria so that we we'll have a credible election. Thank you, Mr. President. All right, pray at the process of the nation. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. Yes. The ayes have it. Prayer two, urge INEC to ensure unrestricted and consistent application of all electoral laws without bias to a candidate or party in no election. Those in favor of prayer two say aye. aye. Those against say nay. Yes, have a prayer three. Direct the Senate Committee on INEC to investigate all perceived inconsistent applications of electoral law by INEC in the 2019 elections. Those in favor of prayer three say aye. aye. Those against say nay. Yes. Yes, have it. And prayer four. Urge the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to give assent to the recent amendment to the electoral to ensure a level playing field and adoption of equal standards and national elections for a strong and peaceful and demo peaceful democracy in Nigeria. Those in favor of prayer four. Say aye. aye. Those who can say nay. Yes. The eyes have it. Thank you. Distinguished, 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 distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues. Okay. Additional prayer. No. It's an amendment. So we will do your work now. Do your work. The place is rowdy. It's rowdy. I have the flow. I have the flow. Oh, but you are not hearing now. If I talk, you will hear. Yes. Mr. President, I just wanted to add, I wanted to say, the issue raised today is a very serious issue. Sir, I, I, want, I want to humbly suggest that we amend that prayer to put an ad hoc committee, a very powerful ad hoc committee, to look into these issues. 
because the issue raised, honestly speaking, is a very, very serious issue that needs to be looked into and look. Any second? All right. Any second? Leader of the Senate. Leader of the Senate. Order, please. Order. Mr. President. Mr. President. I was, I was with you. The Swedish colleagues. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, enjoy and subscribe. Subscribe and hit it. Face TV. Was Swoobie?